What's up, boys? It's Nick from Team Tempo 501 here. I'm the king of the scrubs, and today, my everyone's world just got fucked up because Konami decided to release basically an emergency ban list. Uh, I'm not going to post it. I'm not going to link it. You fuckers can go find it. But in summary, GoFu, Drone, Quick Fix, and Set Rotation are all limited, and those are the only changes to the game. So... And the next update won't be till January, which basically means that YCS San Diego and my regional are going to be with this ban list. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about the format, what I think is going to happen. I'm not going to do any like speculating because every time I speculate, I get fucked over. So I'm just not going to speculate. But I I'll, I'll throw a few hints out basically. So the video I made two days ago is sort of contradicted by this because, well, yeah... Spiral has now been neutered and is no longer the best deck in the game. It's still a good deck. It can still combo out and just make a giant board. It just can't do it as consistently. And now it requires more cards to make that big board. So now that the deck is more fragile, Monarchs are slightly more playable. And it all depends. Monarch's life all depends on if, hand if people are still main decking 15 fucking hand traps. Because if the only main deck hand traps are like Ash, Ogre, and Maxi, Monarchs will be fucking golden. I will play them at this regional. No bullshit. I will play them at this regional. Because if everything... Because basically, we're going back a format. We're just going back to Pendulum Draco format, okay? Pendulum Magician, the matchup is... It's okay, Purple Poison and Time Pendulum Glaf are, like, the most annoying thing in the planet, but you can play around those cards. You can build your deck to play around those cards. And if you end up going first and you and you do a Vanity's Fiend March, the deck almost just doesn't beat you. Like, it just doesn't, because they have to first waste their Purple Poison to blow up your March, and they still can't even Pendulum Summon because the Vanity's Fiend's on the field. They need, like, Joker Regeki to out your board. Like, that's really the only way they out the board. And most Pendulum decks aren't even main decking Regeki. So, like, they have to take a turn to set the time pendulum graph, you snipe it with a frost blast, and the game's fucking over. So. And plus, games 2 and 3 get much easier, because not only do you get access to Zaphion, you get access to Twin Twisters, you can play Link Slayer in the main deck to blow up scales. Now that Gofu's limited, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing, because I really like Link Slayer as a card, I think the card is very good, and the applicability that it has going second is just, it, it, it helps the deck out, it really does. But I have to find my Link Slayer, because I didn't bring them with me, because I'm a fucking idiot. But that's besides the point. So, and the Draco matchup, it's still really rough, and it's really annoying. Especially if they're playing the Wind Witch engine, or they're playing the Invoked engine, meaning that they can just put a first turn negation on board. Like, Monarchs can play through a big board. It just can't play through negation. So, depending on how true Draco evolves, if it either goes Wind Witch or... You'd much rather it be Wind Witch, because you can much... You, the deck can much easier just out a Crystal Wing than it can out a Makaba. So, depending on which route the deck goes, Monarchs will be okay. So... And ABC, again, is eh. Like, if you establish Domain Lock, the deck just doesn't play. Like, it literally just can't do anything. But if you're going second, and they have a half-decent opening board, Buster's really annoying for you to deal with. So... There's a chance. That's basically what I'm saying. We went from, like, Monarchs being the, one of the worst rogue decks in the format to being somewhat of a contender. Because you have to remember here, the deck is still bad. Okay, the deck is still absolutely bad. But because it has access to two forms of non-targeting removal, that being Stormforth and Erebus, both easily searchable within the deck, the fact that the deck literally gets to have a searchable floodgate that tells your opponent they cannot play the game and nobody's gonna side for it to an extent there is a chance depending on how YCS San Diego goes that Domain Monarch may end up being a possible rogue deck for this format now of course Trigate Wizard's still coming out that's more negation that we have to deal with making Spiral slightly better We'll see. Another deck I was thinking of is Infernoid, because Void Imagination is an incredibly dumb card, and Infernoids can just put two negations on board and say deal with it. 
So, and plus Infernoids just have, like, big, beefy monsters. Um, negations, of course. The deck's pretty consistent. So. Uh, the deck's pretty cheap as well. Everything's mostly reprinted. There's a couple of cards that are slightly expensive, so instead of it being a $100 deck, it may be like a $125, $150 deck. But it's budget enough. Maybe Light Sworn to an extent, but Light Sworn's more about just putting pressure on board. Infernoid's more of a stun deck to an extent. And Infernoid get removal spells. They get Harmonic to blow up monsters. They get Patrulia to blow up spells and traps. Cytomus, which is non-targeting removal. <laughs> that card is insane. I don't know. That, that card is just so good. It is so good. And you can still play Stardust Spark in your extra deck to make Stardust Spark and Cytomus, and you can just banish a card every turn for free. So it's really slow, and it, it it's kind of bad to an extent, but you can do it, and it's hilarious. So there is that. Excuse me for one moment. Uh, another deck I was thinking of is uh, is Fluffle, because it can just make a giant board and say deal with it. Like, that's the one thing. Spiral just made the biggest board and said deal with it or you lose. And most of the time you just couldn't deal with it. But now that the deck has essentially been neutered out of the picture, we're able to look at decks that can make an, an okay board or a big board, but have recovery, if that makes sense. Because Spiral didn't really have recovery. Okay, if you somehow broke through their board, which you usually didn't, but in the small cases that you did, they just lost because they put all their resources into their board. You nuke it and they lose. But with Fluffles and Infernoids and Monarchs to an extent, if your first board gets nuked, you have recovery to make the board again. A Fluffle is slightly weaker on this end, because if you overextend into your board, you will lose, whereas if Infernoids, if you overextend, you'll kind of lose, but you have Burial to put your resources back. And Monarchs are just a never-ending flow of resources. Like, once you get that first Monarch resolved, or the second Monarch Resolve, you usually have enough to keep going, even, or you have enough to get yourself back in the game, even if you overextend. So, that's where the decks differ in that aspect. But I, I do, I really like Fluffle right now, just because you can play around Ash Blossom pretty easily. Max C is annoying, but you can just kill them. If you're going second, you Tiger their board away, and then you make a Wolf. And it just kills them through the max C. So you don't have to worry about that card. The only card the deck hates is Droll and Lockbird. And with Trickstar not being touched on this list at all, which it should have because Reincarnation is a dumb fucking card, why is that card even a thing? It may be possible that Trickstar become like the best rogue deck of the format. So. Totally lost where I was going. <laughs> uh, but basically it's just... And the thing is with Fluffles as well... Is it doesn't really care about any of the cards being limited. Like, yeah, the deck played Gofu. But you don't have to play Gofu. It can easily be replaced with another engine. Not necessarily... It could be the Brilliant Fusion engine. That might be the way the deck goes from now on. As you can Brilliant Fusion, Seraph Knight, Dog, Owl, Polly. You have a Mrs. Radiant on board for free, essentially. But you don't even have to play any engines in the deck. You could just play, like, the standard Fluffle ratio and then just a whole bunch of good cards and just play the deck as normal. And, like, you have a really good Pendulum matchup, unless you're me and you're bad and you can't beat Pendulums. But, uh, Pendulum's, like, 50-50. Draco is, like, an amazing matchup. Like, every time I played Draco at the regional, I won. As long as you're not an idiot... Uh, Draco is not a hard matchup for you. Sabretooth being indestructible is so important. The only reason it doesn't matter in Pendulum is because of time Pendulum Graph. Like, you have to keep that card off the field. So possible main deck Twin Twister is necessary. Maybe, like, wasting your extra monsters on a Tiger so you can just blow up the Pendulum Graph and maybe blow up, like, their Time Star just so that you've cleared that part of the field away. Because those are the cards that really annoy you are Time Star and Time Pendulum Graph. So if you can get rid of those cards and maintain a board presence, you can pretty easily beat Pendulum Magician. Because eventually they'll run out of resources and you can just kill them. Draco is not a hard matchup. ABC is really hard because Buster just banishes the Sabretooth. 
So you have to go bigger than Buster. And the deck can recur resources much easier than Fluffles can. But Fluffles don't lose to hand traps like ABC does. Like if your Union Hager gets Ash or Ogre, your turn just kind of ends. But with Fluffle, you don't necessarily have that problem. Because with, to with Toy Vendor, you don't want to Ogre that. <laughs> and if you Ash it, I don't give a fuck. I can still play the game. So... I will be testing all of these decks. I'll be testing Fluffle, Infernoid, Domain, Monarch, etc. So, more than likely, I'll be testing Monarchs and Fluffles, Infernoid, to a lesser extent, because I have to buy, basically, the entire Infernoid deck, but I already have Monarchs, and I have most of my Fluffle cards. I just need to pick up a few things, and the deck, Fluffle is, like, cheap as shit. Like, if you get everything low rarity, you could probably build the entire 70, or at least my specific entire 70, for, like, maybe 50 bucks no bullshit <laughs> depending on like where you get your cards from and how cheap everything is monarchs are really cheap because it's just three structure deck three vanity fiend which is slowly climbing but it's only like two bucks right now it's not super bad it's basically just three structure decks the vanity fiends and like the staple cards 50 bucks so they, they are possible uh budget decks we have to see how the format shapes up though uh, so basically, in overview, uh, I'll be testing a Monarch, Infernoid, and Fluffle for this regional. I want to play Monarchs, I really do. But if the format is still shaped up to where it's just make a... If if, uh, if Spiral is still one of the best decks, Draco and Trickstar aren't... Trickstar is like the one matchup you don't want to play. Because not only do they not rely on their extra deck, they can basically play around Vanity's Fiend because they get to play Honest in their deck. So, well, we will have to see. Uh, Trickstar is really annoying for all of these decks that I've been talking about, but you just kind of have to take it as it goes. But um, Rogue players finally have a shot. If you take any way, anything away from this video, Rogue players finally have a shot again. Because now you don't necessarily have to main deck 15 fucking hand traps that make your deck worth $750. So, hallelujah, boys. Holla fucking Luya to that. So uh let me know what you think of the ban list in the in the description down below. I'd love to get a discussion going about this. You know, I really like it. I'm glad Spiral is is neutered. I wish that they would have just There were a few things I'm not happy about, but like they should have just really just banned Machine Dupe and banned drone and we're done here. You can keep Quick Picks at three. Like if the deck wants to search ten cards, that's cool. But it you, you can't do anything with those cards, essentially. I wish they would have brought back a couple of things. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the list. I'm glad Spiral is neutered. I'm glad Rogue players have a shot again. I'm glad Monarchs are... They, they can come back and try to get the W, hopefully. So, let's just hope YCS San Diego is just a bunch of Pendulums, ABC, and Paleo. And Trickstar and Draco so that Monarchs can go and I can get my invite for Nats. And I don't have to play any more of this fucking game, so... But yeah, let me know what you think of the list in the comment section down below. Let me know what budget decks or what rogue decks you guys are playing, what you want to see. Because I'm pretty much open to anything at this point. Like, as long as it's cheap enough and I can, and the cards are easily available to me, I can pick them up and play it at the regional. So, my name is Nick from Team Table 501. Thanks for watching and get good scrubs. I'll see you next time.